helping you make sure that your car is summer ready. ABC 15's Listelia Caballero shares how you can avoid car breakdowns in these very hot temperatures. You can't drive your car without tires, so experts say you want to make sure they aren't worn, which leads us to the penny test. Experts say you want to put the penny on one of the center grooves, and if you can see the top of Lincoln's head, then you likely need to replace it. But this is just one of many tips you should know to stay safe on the road in extreme heat. Every part of your car suffers when it gets over 100 degrees. They're not designed for Phoenix, Arizona. Jim Garnand with High Tech Car Care and Narpro says there's a checklist to prepare your car for extreme heat. Next up, your battery. In Arizona, two to three years is about all the service life you can expect from a good battery. Once that's checked off and you've looked at your tires, he says make sure the tire pressure is just right. Generally, most car tires run about 32 PSI, and you can find that information on the inside of your door. Tires that are underinflated, it increases the wear on them, increases the stress and they're going to wear out faster and you could possibly have a blow. You also want to change your car's fluids. Keep them fresh, keep them full. And make sure your wipers are working. As Garnan says, the heat will dry them out. Wiper blades need to be replaced about once a year depending on the manufacturer. Then on to the AC. Make sure it's checked regularly and when it comes to the cabin filter. A clean filter, the air flows really well. If it's restricted, then you're not going to get good airflow in the passenger compartment. There's also this trick to maximizing cool air when you get into a hot car. First, roll down your windows. Then put the air conditioning on outside air instead of recirculating. It's 110 outside, but inside your vehicle it's probably over 150. Once it starts blowing cold, then switch it back to recirculate and hope it gets cool fast. Another good idea, having an emergency kit ready with water, jumper cables, a flashlight, and an umbrella. And finally, it's important to be patient. Nothing works perfectly in 110 degrees plus weather. Lustelia Caballero.